so happy for one reason. <laughs> this guy said yes, but he also got approved. <laughs> yeah, I got approved. Yes, you got approved. And I'm excited. I'm so excited. Okay, welcome everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are, if you're waking up, you go to sleep, you are at work, if you're about to get up from work, so happy to be right now, right here, with a good friend of mine that I've seen him going from this to this. <laughs> Continuing. He's, he's getting ready to share his on his uh, uh, social media. Remember, en español, viene ahorita. En español, it's coming. Yeah, so, we're, gonna, we're gonna do it in English first, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to share, share the video. video. In the meantime, while he's getting ready, I'm gonna do a yes. little bit of a, not justice, but in, uh, introduction about who am I sitting right next to right now. A friend <laughs> of mine, about seven years ago, probably. Yes. Think, seven yeah. years ago. Um, born in Boston, uh, uh, raised in Venezuela, and now public figure, radio, TV, uh, all over the net, Facebook, Instagram. I'm one of his huge fans, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy that he said yes. I wanna. I've seen, I've seen what you're doing. I don't know what you're trying to get, you know, uh, in that direction. But I, I would like to be. So welcome, Karen, to our show today. We're gonna be, you know, sharing the story of somebody who came to this country, moving back from, you know, fading away from Venezuela, moving back to the states, and not only moving back, but having the ability to create. A, a tremendous amount of success, success impacting people's lives. You know, I've seen what you've done on the net. I've seen what you're doing on the radio and TV and everything else. No worries. He's just trying to hurry up so you can share Thanks. this on on his on his page. So, mm -hmm. why don't you tell our audience very quickly? You know, a yes. little bit about yourself as a human being. Yeah. Well, my name is Rolfo. They call me El Chamo, which is like the kid. Uh, I moved to the United States when I was uh, 24. That was back in 2007. I came here, Juan, uh, Juan Carlos, with a dream. Uh, basically, I had a luggage full of uh, half of my dreams and half of my clothes because I didn't have anything else. I just wanted to conquer what... what I, I went to college for journalism and, and that's something that I wanted to do. I wanted to uh, uh, pursue a career in media and also theater and everything that it was involved with that and it's been almost 10 years now I'm, an, I'm super excited Houston has been a fantastic market but also uh, Texas and and hey I have uh, I have meet uh, great people like you and I'm so happy to be here and talking about the the Latinos the immigrants and and, and being able to share my story and being able to push uh, you guys to follow your dreams because very that's quickly, what we need. very quickly. You were born in the U.S. How, how, yes, very quickly. Yeah, my mom and my uh, dad they were doing uh, his ma their masters okay. here in, in San Francisco, California. So that's why I was born here. But I moved to Venezuela when I was just a baby, basically when I was uh, two months old. Two months old, and then you practically I was like, raised in became, Venezuela, you know, yeah. fully Venezuelan. Yeah, and I, and I came I came Addition back when I was 20, 24. 24, So, so pretty much you. Actually, they're longer in Venezuela than yeah. you, you've been in the U.S. Yeah, that, that's why I have the Latino accent, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the Venezuelan accent. The Venezuelan accent. <laughs> Not only that, he's a professional. I also wrote artists because, you, you know, I wish you could sing for us if you do. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to give you the time. Artists, you know, acting, and not, and not only that, yeah. represent a, that's, a large that's, community. That's actually how I started in media. Uh, I was doing theater since I was seven. And uh, when I was 19, in my first semester in college, there was this guy that was doing a radio show. He right. was like, hey, uh, I want, he, he saw me in a play. And yeah, I'm yeah. like, hey, can you come here and do a few voices and help us with, um, with uh, the, the radio show that we have? Right. And I, I went there and they gave me the assistant production and it's, I, I fell in love with radio. I've been doing it since I was, like I said, 19, more than 14 years 14 now. Years. I'm surprised you never pursued a singing career. Uh, it was never my my thing. Acting was more probably acting. Yes, I actually uh, I didn't I didn't pursue a, a an acting career because I felt back in the day that it was a really unstable market. It, it still is. Correct. Castings and, and when you go to a casting, it's it's super scary <laughs> though. Totally. Man, um, you have to prove yourself in two seconds, you know. And, and you know when you're when you're twenty when you're in your twenties, you you limit yourself too much. Right. Uh, all those uh, fears that you're not gonna get the job, that you're not gonna get the um, the part in the play, they usually so limit true. We your, do a lot your of ability. Yeah, your ability to to achieve many things. Correct. Now, 
that, that, I, have, that I, I, I have achieved many things in my life, I, I, I can tell you that if you follow your dreams, you can actually conquer so many fantastic, fantastic things. things that you're not going to be able to even dream about it. Though. So true, so true. As you grow older, mm. we remove a set of fears and fears could become your motivator or could become your obstacle yes. right away. Um, so we have, you know, people from our audiences, you know, it's now my face because it's going to live with Chris and normal <laughs> on his right here. So happy. Number one, we never talk about religion or politics. I don't, I just don't, that belongs to you. Yes. But I like to get probably uh, your feel on what's happening with the new implementations of, you know, the new regulations. Um, if, if we look at facts, uh, Obama deported almost 3 million people. That's true. He did it uh, quiet. Mm -hmm. So probably nobody was uh, like like so scared like, that it, like it is right now. Correct. I understand why Hispanic people and why immigrants are so afraid of what, what, what's happening. Uh, but um, they only going to go for people with uh, felonies, you know, sure. with um, uh, uh, delitos, with felonies, yes. With felonies. Crime. And, uh, crimes, yeah. Um, if you work hard, if you if you try to live uh, a, a decent life, a, a stable life, if you help others, they're not gonna go for you. I mean, um, we're here for the long run, like they say in, in, really the, in the U.S. So uh, my advice will be: Hey, keep working hard. Donald Trump's not gonna work for you. You're the one who's gonna. Um, uh, Pursue your dreams, and you're the one who's gonna build your destiny. Though, so hey, do it, uh, do it. That's that's, uh, that's I would say my advice. Though. Now, going back to you, yeah, very quickly, because you know I'm very very happy to have you here on on this series of interviews. Mm -hmm. um, at any point in life, where you offer to do something else besides your dream of pursuing journalism and being, you know. Uh, at your best, because what you're doing, you're at your best, you know, it's just your, the most value of yourself. Were you ever, ever offered, you know, like a job in an office or something that you considered, you almost took it, but you said, yeah. you know what, I'm going to try this as much as I can. The, the way it works in radio and TV and all that is that you have to become a little bit more famous to make money. When you're starting, you're not making any money at all. Not, it was it, at all it takes a while, you know. So, um, of course, uh, back in the day, I was offered, I was being offered uh, jobs in, in the alcohol industry, okay. marketing, okay. advertising, and, and and they were paying a little bit better than, I, than what I was making at the at time. At that particular time. Yeah. So you and have patience. You said I I'm said, gonna... you know what? This is what I want. I'm gonna give this a few years, correct, to see if I can achieve what I want. And if no, yes, I will consider uh, changing careers. Careers, okay. Uh, right now, I'm in that phase of, of, of times that, that, that I feel that, uh, that hey, I, I have a lot of room to, 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 grow. to grow. Yeah. And, and sky's the limit. And now, I think that, that now your business persona is coming alive, <laughs> you know? You're, okay, now you have all these other areas of your life. Yeah. That, because well, of actually, your patience, yes. because of your persistence, because of your removable yeah. fears and following your instinct, you, you know what's on funny? what you're good at. You know what's funny? I was I was seeing all my friends back in the day, and they were in the oil business. And you know when it's entry, and you're like, oh my god, they make so much money. Exactly, entry level in the oil business starts with sixty five grand or eighty five or something 80, like 80, that. 90, 000, yeah. And I was like, man, they're making so much money than I do though. And and I felt that um. When, At some point, we feel like we're less. Yes, yeah, and I was like, when it will be my time to, to make that, that amount of money? <laughs> I just had patience, and, and now I, like everybody, everybody in the States, like, hey, when you come here, you have to work your, so, that's not the truth, though. I work 26 hours, 20, 28 hours a week, and I make three times probably what, uh, what the oil guy business is doing, though. But now, probably but because you, I, 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 I found yourself. a niche. Correct. You know? Correct. You you leverage yourself in the in the tough times, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You yeah. know. Uh, sometimes in order for us to pick up, pick up the product, you have to produce and manufacture, and that takes that, that's a process. Um, now, I, I see an entrepreneur, I see an artist, I see a business leader, I see a community uh, activator. Yeah. Because you appear on TV, you appear on radio, but you also persona, you also Rodolfo El Chamo. For those who are listening, uh, I linked already his name, but go to his page because you cannot add him on. <laughs> On a regular Facebook uh, basis, he's got so many people, um, and then you also, from you through your through your work, you uh, you produce 
you know, content that is amazing is entertaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we try to uh, keep uh, innovating all the time. Social media has become, uh, has become a, a fantastic tool that we can use every day to, to many things. Uh, with social media, I have been able to help people uh, totally. try to get a, 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 um, a Energy transplant or, or try to get a surgery or help my community. And yes, also I would like to I like to entertain in my social yeah. media. So I have this. Because uh, your persona is like that; it's natural, you know. Yeah, I have a, a segment. The name is uh, Al Que Le Toque. It's it's basically one of those segments that I talked about relationship relationships the way I see it. <laughs> also, yeah, it's very personal. I've, I've <laughs> also, another one that the name is Minuto Terapeutico, which is a third a super th popular therapeutic minute mi 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 minute minute yes. Sorry, <laughs> that is right. it's difficult to do with something in English. <laughs> so, um, and, and, and that's another thing that I record two years ago when my friend was super sad, I basically sent him a video saying like, hey, uh, hey, try to stay positive, hey, try to move forward. He broke up with this girl. He was super uh, angry and mad and sad. And I shared that video on my, on my Facebook and, and man, I, I I, I saw there's so many people that they were struggling with the same problem that my uh, body was facing, you know? Brain, yeah. So I said... Wow, you got something here as, as, a, as a voice. Yes, I will have to start doing something like that. And I started doing that for um, once a week and I've been doing it for two years. Hey, uh, I was in the Eiffel Tower and in, in, in the top of the Eiffel Tower, there was three persons, th three people like, Hey, you're that journalist from Facebook. We saw your Minuto Terapeutico. The journalist from Facebook. <laughs> All the time, and I was like, all the way in France, in Paris, London. Uh, I went to uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid, El Clásico in Madrid. Though, and, and when I was giving my ticket away, my my brother, he was like, "If someone uh, knows you, knows you, know. you here in Madrid, you're you're gonna be my god." That, that's what my brother, my little brother, said. And I was like, "Come on, that's not gonna happen. It's it's a different continent. It's we're in Spain." The girl that it was um, like like scanning our tickets in the Santiago Bernabeu <laughs> stadium, she was like, she started smiling, and I'm like, yeah, that's my uh, that's my brother. You have to scan uh, his ticket, and she's like, I know who you are. I follow you. You're Chamo, and I was uh, like, now I have Man. to say, I have to say this. So a lot of people may see, oh, he works on TV, he works on radio. That's why. No, not only that, I've seen the amount of investment. And the appreciation and the potential that you saw on social media, because I saw yeah. in 2008. And you know what happens when people are start, you know, understanding that your voice has power and you have the power to influence and help people. Yeah. You started cultivating that before, and I'm pretty sure you have people saying, "This guy's crazy. He's in love himself. All he wants to do is be in the social media." Yeah, no. But social media is many a, it's times. A, it's a medium. It's hey, a way. Back in 2008, when I only had like 200 followers or 200 friends, you remember. Ah, Rolf was on Facebook all the time, he's on Twitter all the time, he's on Instagram, he's just wasting his time, come on. I've heard those comments, by the way. Of course. Maybe yeah. I made some, I don't know, I don't remember. Probably, I don't, I don't probably, yeah. Did. Maybe I did. <laughs> probably, yeah, and, and uh, what, I, what I saw back in the day and, and what I see now, it's, it's a fantastic tool to connect with different personalities, with different people, with uh, guys and girls that uh, are struggling and, and, and going with the, with, uh, with the same fears that you're going through right. life. And um, now I can say that that helped help me though grow amazingly positively. And, 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 and I think that's something that, I, I'm not saying that you have to go on social media every day, but hey, for whatever job you do, that's a fantastic tool to connect to somebody else that's doing the same thing. So true, so true. Um, Yalitza and everybody who's making the comments, we appreciate because some of you already know uh, if you're in Houston, most likely you already know Rodolfo. Um, our promise is to keep this as short as possible, not to steal some, much time from you, and also to share in spotlight <laughs> people that are bringing and contributing to, the, to a community, not only taking away from. And um, obviously, I, pro I you know, promised 100 you know, days, not consecutively, but 100 days, um, you were on my list. Actually, I never thought you were going to be able to do it because <laughs> you have some restrictions from being a public figure. <laughs> but I worked for Univision, so um, you know um, uh, every company has his, his rules, and it's not that they, they 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 didn't say no. It's just that they want to see what is it that you guys were doing, right. and um, and what you are doing is fantastic. This is a fantastic way, and and I, and I say the word fantastic because it's true. Many times, <laughs> what you do here to connect Appreciate with people, to connect with your um, audience. 
It's great. I have seen your videos. I wanted to be here. <laughs> yes. I was like pushing like, hey, that's my friend, but he's also doing a fantastic content. And that's what we need. Great content. Great content. I appreciate it. Now, uh, before we let you guys, because we're going to switch to Spanish right now, uh, I would, or you already left so many messages to young and to older people in regard to dreams, in regard to pursuing that. Yeah. What message would you like to leave the audience today? My friends, my clients, my acquaintances, people that I met, um, because we have people all, all over the world. Yes. I, it's not as extensive as yours, but no, you, all, you all over. Yes, I've seen it. What type of message would you like to leave the audience today in regard to pursuing your own dreams? Um, hey, a lot of people's going to tell you it's not going to happen. Uh, so many people's going to tell you, no way. You're going to be in acting? Come on. You're kidding me, though. Uh, in acting, only beautiful people is. Uh, you're going to be in media? That's not possible. You're going to try to sell a house? No, you don't have following. I mean, nobody knows who you are. Many, many, many ones are going to try to kill your so dreams. So true, though. so true. Hey, listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. And hey, of course, you have to have some criteria and understand that if you, if you commit, if you, uh, if you uh, put some effort in your preparation, though, and, and, and try, to, uh, try to understand that you have to keep learning every day and every day, every day about the business, I'm pretty sure you're going to get somewhere. I, I, I appreciate uh, Rodolfo El Chamo on the social media, Instagram and Facebook and uh, Twitter, everywhere. El Chamo, Rodolfo El Chamo, I'm going to type it over here. Welcome, uh, buon, buon pomeriggio, Olga, in, uh, in Roma. Oh, maybe in Ibiza. Rome! She's already, no, no. Sono innamorato la Roma. <laughs> <laughs> Roma, bellissima, bellissima, ma this discipline, she's discipline, saying, discipline, yes. discipline is, consistent discipline is very important. Exactly, yeah. She's and so now, right. it's funny because she started also videos and I told her about you, yeah. uh, but this guy started in 2008, really yeah. pounding, pondering, and that tells me. And I'm learning every day still, uh, still. I, I mean, right now I have 600,000, which is fantastic, people from all over the world. Uh, but still, I'm trying to... And Facebook to... is your, your main, right? Yeah. Some people go on YouTube more, some yeah. people go on uh, Instagram, depending on your persona. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm, try I'm trying now to switch a little bit more to Snapchat and Instagram because it will uh, reach Thank more you. millennials. Keep going. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he has his Snapchat. The Snapchat, uh, I started picking up Snapchat from this guy right here. So now we're, I'm recording live yeah. on the Facebook interview. Thank you, Snapchat, for watching. <laughs> and it's only 20 seconds. So I'm just going to do only, only one snap. Thank you guys so much for staying connected to us. Share this video, like it, any comments, we appreciate. We're just cultivating a good vibe. That's all. Yeah. R Rodolfo, thank you so much thank for you so much, thank you. I thank you so much it. for, for and we're switching to and Spanish. We're switching yeah. to Spanish. Si hablas español, now lo, ahora lo vamos a hacer. Guys, have an amazing, amazing day and keep stay connected. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.